Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change aspect ratios from the standard 16 by nine aspect ratio and convert them to something more social media friendly like a one by one aspect ratio or a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So being able to quickly adjust aspect ratios and resize and reframe these video clips to suit those aspect ratios are really important for when you are creating social media videos. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve 17 and let's start editing. Okay, so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve and I've just got a quick little edit here. It's in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. It's pretty standard. So the first thing I wanna do is duplicate the timeline because I like this 16 by nine aspect ratio. It's pretty standard. So I wanna convert this to something like a nine by 16, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on my timeline inside the media pool and I'm just going to go over to duplicate timeline and we'll just create two timelines. So we've got skaters copy right here. I'm just going to rename this and then I'm just going to double click. I'm going to open up the nine by 16 timeline. And as you can see, it is not a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So to change that, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go into the timeline and right click on the timeline and go to timelines timeline settings and to get the 9 by 16 aspect ratio I'm going to change this from 1920 to 1080 and whoops and then I'm just going to change this to 1920 so you're just basically swapping the settings around and then I'm going to make sure the mismatch resolution is scale to full frame with crop click OK and there we go so now we've got the 9 by 16 aspect ratio and as you can see, we need to reframe this. But before I do that, I'm going to show you another way to change the aspect ratio. This is actually my preferred way to do it. And the other way that I can change the aspect ratio is if I go to the cut page, I can go over to this icon here where it says timeline resolution and just click that. And then I can just hit portrait. You can also use this to change it to a square as well. So as you can see, as I'm going through these aspect ratios, it's adjusting accordingly for it. So we want it to be nine by 16 for this it is with custom timeline settings. I like to have it at scale full frame with crop. This just allows you to have everything um, at full frame and with just cropped edges. So there's no zooming in and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So. 1080 by 1920. So there's a couple of ways you can reframe inside of DaVinci Resolve. This way that I'm going to show you first, you actually have to have DaVinci Resolve Studio. But if you don't have DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can actually um, adjust the positions manually. So I'm just gonna select all of these clips here. And I'm just gonna go to Smart Reframe in the Inspector window. And I'm gonna click Reframe and that will automatically analyze the clips. So what Smart Reframing does is it analyzes the clips that you've selected and it will try to find the point of interest in your clip and adjust the position according to where the point of interest in the clip is. Sometimes it's a bit off so you might need to manually adjust it but that's fine. So let's just quickly play this back and have a quick look at what this looks like. So now I'm fairly happy with that. This is looking pretty good and when I play one of these clips back and select it if you look at the position here, you can see that there are some keyframes and you can see that it's adjusting it over here. Um, so what you can do is if it doesn't work, you can just hit the reset button for the transform for the position. And then you can just manually adjust it and just add your own keyframes. Click and drag the X. And I wanna see a bit of the skateboard and a bit of the person's um, shirt and pants. So that's a nice frame right there. So I'm just going to keyframe it and then I'm just going to maybe towards here, I might just adjust it just a little bit. So now we've got keyframe so you can see a bit of the skateboard in the person. I'm just gonna duplicate this timeline and I'm gonna change this to one by one. So now I've created another timeline and I'm going to do one by one aspect ratio for Instagram. And I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna to go to the cut page and I'm gonna go over to this drop down menu and just go to square. And that's pretty much it. And I'm just gonna do the same thing as before and I'm just going to select them and then do auto reframe. When I play this back, you can see now 
We've got it reframed for a one by one aspect ratio. And then now when it comes to rendering, since we've created copies of the timeline and renamed them to suit the aspect ratio, when we go to the deliver tab, you can see that uh, when I go to the resolution, it's in custom. So this is the one by one aspect ratio you can see here. You know, this is where you can save the video clip. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna call this, you know, skate um, Instagram. And I'm gonna add this to render queue. And then now to add the other timelines in, just go to this drop down menu, go to skaters nine by 16. So as you can see, the resolution has adjusted to the nine by 16 aspect ratio automatically. So you don't have to do anything else. I'll just leave it as is. And I'll just call this TikTok, add to render queue. And I'm just gonna go to the original timeline and I'm just gonna double check the resolution and it's 1920 by 1080. And that's good. I'm just gonna call this YouTube because 16 by nine is the preferred aspect ratio for YouTube. So I'm gonna click render and then you select all of them and then hit render all and that will render it all out at the same time. So that's how you can change your video's aspect ratio inside of DaVinci Resolve. There are a couple of different ways to change your video's aspect ratio. You can go into the timeline settings and change it there, or you could go over to the cut page and use some of the default presets that will automatically switch it over to different social media aspect ratios for you. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.